Over the years, we have tested and reviewed countless laptop docking stations in our channel. Some were loaded with ports, while others were focused on keeping things cool. I mean, just look at it. I have never seen a docking station of this sort, which honestly looks like a high-end mini PC that can even outsmart the Apple Mac Mini. This is Anchor's brand new Prime TB5 docking station. It's a 14-in-1 laptop dock, completely loaded with rich features. To name a few, it has 8K display pass-through, 140 watts fast charging capability, and astonishing 120 gigabits per second of data transfer speed. In this video, we will be putting it through rigorous testing, measuring its actual speed, going through its display pass-through capabilities, and see how it holds up apart from just looking premium. Let's begin. The docking station arrives in a premium cardboard package that immediately reflects the high-end nature of the product. The box is neatly divided into two compartments. One holds the dock itself, and the other contains two essential cables, a power cable and a USB-C to USB-C cable. The cables are functional, but feel fairly standard. Given how premium the dock is, we can't help but wish Anchor had gone the extra mile and included braided cables to better match the device's overall build quality and aesthetic. The first thing we notice when handling the dock is just how solid it feels. The chassis is crafted almost entirely from aluminum, giving it a rugged, professional finish. Only the bottom panel is made of plastic, though it's so well blended into the design that it's hard to tell without tapping or closely inspecting it. On the back, there are two vent-like cutouts, which also appear to be plastic, presumably aiding in airflow or heat dissipation. Talking about heat dissipation, the bottom of the dock also has two vent cutouts that are likely there to keep the device even cooler. Regardless, the entire construction feels impressively refined. This isn't a device you'd mistake for anything cheap. Then comes the weight, and it's immediately noticeable. At 38 ounces, the Prime TB5 is heavier than it looks. For perspective, our MacBook Air weighs in at about three pounds, so the dock's weight alone makes it feel like you're handling a small computer. From a distance, it bears a striking resemblance to Apple's Mac Mini. Clean, modern, and minimal. In fact, at first glance, most people would likely assume it's a compact mini PC. On the front, there's a round power button, followed by a 3.5 mm headphone jack, two USB-C ports, and a USB-A port. All three of the USB ports are labeled as supporting 10 gigabits per second transfer speeds something we'll be putting to the test later in this review. The layout is simple, functional, and premium. Just what we'd expect from a flagship docking station like this. While the right side of the dock has nothing but a prime branding, the left houses a TF and SD card slot. As you can see, most connections are housed at the back, starting with two USB-A ports, a 2.5 gigabit Ethernet LAN port, three USB-C lightning port, and two display outputs. One is HDMI, and one is DisplayPort. Lastly, there is a POW jack for four booting up the device. With these aside, let's get down to testing. First up, let's talk about speed. For USB-A and USB-C ports, we verified the 10 gigabits per second throughput using Crystal Disk Mark on a high-performance NVMe external SSD alongside EaseUS Partition Master to cross-check sequential and random read and write performance. We got a consistent 344 megabytes per second speed, which is quite impressive. Moving to the main attraction, the Thunderbolt 5 ports, we benchmarked using ATTO Disk Benchmark and Blackmagic Disk Speed Test to reflect real-world large file transfer conditions. Both tests showed good numbers, up to 2758 to be exact. However, the SD card reader was less impressive. Despite the premium build, it's equipped with a UHS-1. Not the faster UHS-2 that high-end laptops often include. Again, we tested it using Crystal Disk Mark and USB Flash Benchmark, measuring controls across various file sizes. The sequential speeds topped out around 170 megabytes per second which falls short for professional level throughput. 
Overall, the device's I.O. performance is excellent, except for the SD card reader, which could still be a bottleneck for photographers used to faster UHS-2 speeds. We evaluated the dock's display performance using one 4K display and a 1440p display simultaneously. Though keep in mind that it does have the potential to support up to 8K output. For high refresh rate testing, we ran Test UFO's refresh rate tool to verify that the USB-C connected monitor reliably sustained a 100 Hz without dropped frames or timing glitches. To simulate an 8K workflow stress scenario, we ran extended usage sessions while monitoring for signal drops, flicker, or thermal performance issues. Thanks to the dock's active cooling, we observed minimal flicker, no signal drops, and no thermal throttling, even under prolonged load. In our real-world testing, the dock achieved 80 megabytes per second download and 90 megabytes per second upload via Okla while Measurement Lab's NDT recorded 76 megabytes per second download and 83 megabytes per second upload, with respective latency of 72 ms and 76 ms. The Anker Prime TB5 dock, rated at USB PD 3.1 extended power range, consistently delivered a peak of 140 watts, which is sufficient to fully charge even the most demanding 16-inch MacBook Pro under heavy load. During our testing, the power delivery was rock solid, with stable voltage and amperage readings over extended usage. No thermal drops, cable negotiation issues, or power dips were observed. This impressive single cable solution proves the Anchor Prime not only handles data and video with ease, but also powers your laptop at full throttle without needing an extra charger. To evaluate how well the Anchor Prime handles it, we monitored internal temperatures and fan speeds using Device Monitor. At idle, the dock maintained a quiet 38 degrees Celsius with no active cooling. The fan remained off while the aluminum chassis effectively dissipated heat passively. Under a moderate load, dual 4K displays with light file transfers, the internal temperature climbed to 52 degrees Celsius, at which point the fan quietly spun up to 1,200 RPM. Using a decibel meter placed 0.5 meters from the unit, we recorded the noise level at an almost imperceptible 20 decibels, making it ideal for quiet setups. We then stress tested the dock by simulating a combined load of 120 gigabits per second file transfers while driving two high refresh displays. Under this sustained heavy use, Internal temps peaked at 68 degrees Celsius, with the fan ramping to 4,200 RPM. Still, the noise remained tolerable at 20 decibels, and importantly, thermal readings stayed around 15 degrees Celsius below throttling thresholds. So, who can use this dock? We found it works flawlessly with modern Thunderbolt 4 and Thunderbolt 5 laptops. But here's a critical point you have to see. It is not backward compatible with Thunderbolt 3 laptops or monitors. This is a significant detail for anyone with slightly older gear. For our Apple users, compatibility depends on the chip. If you have a standard M1, M2, or M3 MacBook, you're limited to a single external display. However, if you're running a MacBook with a Pro, Max, or any M4 chip, you can drive dual displays without a problem. And for those who love a clean setup, let us show you this. Clamshell mode works perfectly. As long as the dock is providing power and connected to an external monitor, you can close your laptop lid and keep working seamlessly. For a standard office productivity setup, it's amazing. You connect one cable to your laptop and suddenly you have access to multiple monitors, a wired 2.5 gigabits per second internet connection and all your peripherals. It's the ultimate clean desk solution. Simply put, this is the best premium laptop docking station indeed. While the price is too high, the amount of value you get from it is justifiable. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys in our next video.